There we go. Well, there's the empty cabinet. Yeah, the, the, the beast transmitter. Ron's been patching up. Well, making sure that everything was insulated. So there's, we went through and redid the wire loom and a few other things in there. And now we got to go ahead and we got to start. Start sliding things in. Start sliding stuff in. That's the main power supply right there. This is the modulator. The well, that's the modulator. The power supply is so heavy, I don't think I put it on that table. Oh, no, no, no. The power supply, no, no. I guess not, no. I guess not. That would really never work. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You plug, unplug the, uh, that little yeah, the section. Yeah, the speech amp section here. Speech amp part this, of it. That makes it four pounds lighter, maybe oh. five pounds lighter. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was the one that was all treated with the mercury, yeah, the mercury they, from aldehyde. Yeah, the stuff they used in the jungle and mercury for jungle aldehyde. equipment. And yeah, the military like, did. It yeah. looks brand new. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, there you go. And actually, I see a date. 1964. So this really? is a... This is an upgraded Actually, see, uh, speed jam, a much newer speed Upgraded, because that's what this thing was like. 50, when they, the 52 was the first model. 52. But they made them up into the 60s, so this is a very late model uh -huh. modulator. Okay. Preamp. Pre so we're just going to move it without, without being hooked up? Yeah, I figure it's just, because it, it'll, it pops in. I'm going to check through all, check all the parts on it. Yeah. But okay. there are all the tubes pulled, so we can't really break anything. Break anything by moving it, yeah. Other than you can see the size of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. One transformer. Yeah, that transformer is a monster. That's the hand. modulation transformer. Hey, what's the plastic model for? That's my insulation while I was testing it. <laughs> oh, when you were testing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, let me go ahead and turn this off and we'll move this. Yeah. Well, we got that in there. It took two of us. Go ahead and pick it up and slide it in there. So now you just got to plug in the uh, wires and stuff. And that's only one piece. There's two more to go after this one. So, pretty much one of those things. It's a beast, all right. And it just slides in like. Yeah, well, part of it did. <laughs> uh, it is supposed to go all the way. Well, actually, it's got these big old screws there. Pull it back in. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see that's going to be quite the monster inside the thing. Actually, the frame itself is really heavy anyway, so. But anyway, so he's got it in the radio room with all of his other buddies here. All his uh, military receivers and an ART-13 transmitter there and ARC-5s and you name it, he's got it in here. So, there we go. So, of course, there's a column This room is going to be so. This room is going to be so toasty in the winter. I'm yeah, turn, really. I could turn Put the everything heat off. on. It'll be pretty, turn the heat pretty off warm. The house. Yeah. Just warm up the here. whole house. God. Oh well. And there we are. Okay, we got the next section in. And. It is a little lighter than the other one, but we still got the main power supply that goes down the bottom. So we're going to need to do some fancy footwork on that one. I'm going to put a tube back in there before we get this thing closed. So more fun, fun, fun. And let's see, you guys can see the diagram. It's a big... <laughs> <laughs> Big diagram for this too. It's huge. But anyway. So we're just putting this together piece by piece. And hopefully we'll have this together today. I realize I forgot one thing yet. Yeah. I one of these broke. Yeah. Or bent. Oh, it bent. In the wow. process, when we moved in here, I didn't realize it bent. Yeah. I tried to straighten it out, it just broke. Uh. So, uh, I forgot. I went to the hardware store, I was going to get a piece of all thread, the same size, 632 all thread. These are for those little spring clamps that hold on, the, mm. hold the 5R4 rectifier tubes from bouncing <clears throat> around. Wow. 
but I can still, while it's in here, if I rack the power supply, I can still get back in there to thread that in, so that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Easy cut. Yeah, as long as you don't put the back panel on, you can still work in the back. Yeah, you can do a panel yeah. on it. Yeah. Okay. Now. All right, now we're in the garage. We have to get this power supply. It's a monster and a half up that ramp and into the house. So this is going to be fun. But this uh, cart is going to be used for uh, actually plugging into the cabinet. But uh, you see, I take a lot of blocks and everything else. Get a ramp to get into the house. So yeah, more fun. Okay. That was fun. Got it up the ramp, got it in, got it locked in. And there it is. We gotta figure each piece weighs a couple hundred pounds, so it takes a bit to get it in there. But there it is. The pieces all together. And it is one monster, I'll tell you. So anyhow, that's gonna be it for here. I guess the next one will be when uh, he fires this thing up. Wow. Okay.